Good morning and welcome to the second of our Church of Five Lights, designed for people who aren't able to get to Church at Five, but we hope that most of you will be able to get there this afternoon at five o'clock. Well, today's story features a man called Nicodemus and Nicodemus appears three times in the Gospel of John and each time we see that there is a change in him. What we read today is the first time that he met with Jesus and he came in the dead of night in secrecy. He didn't want to be found to be meeting with Jesus. The next time he was with the religious re uh, leaders and he speaks up for Jesus and says that Jesus has a right to be heard. And then the third time he provides the embalming spices for Jesus' body as he helps Joseph of Arimathea bury Jesus. Well, what has happened to this man from somebody who just would only come and be with Jesus um, at the dead of night to somebody who would speak up for him and then help Joseph to bury his body in a very public manner? Well, verse three, I think, gives us the clue to that. Jesus replied, very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Or in some translations, it translates it as born from above. Jesus goes on to say that flesh gives birth to flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. So when a man and a woman come together in love, a, a baby, an earthly fleshly baby is born. But when our spirits and the Holy Spirit of God comes together, when we make a decision in our heart and our mind to follow Jesus, actually then we are born again. We are born from above. So spirit gives birth to spirit. Paul writes that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. So that's that newness of being born again or born from above. So as ones who have been born again or born from above, let us live as those new creations. Not dabbling in old thoughts or old words or old practices, but living that life that Jesus has called us to, empowered by the Holy Spirit to live as new creations. And if you're not sure whether you actually have made that decision to follow Jesus, whether you are born from above, I just want to take a moment now to give you that opportunity to say yes to Jesus. So let's just quieten our hearts and bow our heads for a moment. Lord Jesus, thank you that with you we can be born again. We can be born from above. Lord, thank you that it's true that the new is here and the old is gone because of what you've done for us. And so, Lord Jesus, we want to choose to follow you today. We want to make that choice in our hearts and in our minds to be people born from above. And Holy Spirit, please, would you come and fill each one of us now? That can, we can be those people that you have created us to be. Amen. So let's carry on now with some worship. <laughs> 